Podopian. Today we are going to learn how to use AI assisted programming with Amazon Code Whisperer. You'll be blown away by its capabilities. Let's build a very simple calculator. To begin with, let's create a very simple calculator program. You need to provide the intent of your solution or the program as a comment. In my case, it's to create a very simple mathematical calculator and then press Alt C in Windows to get a recommended programming body. So it recommended this simple calculator, which is very sleek and nice. But let's say I want to add some more content into this. So in this case, let's say I want to have a square root function. So I give my intent as a comment and then again type alter plus C to generate the body. So it created the method signature. This time I go to the method body and Code Whisperer automatically recognize I need this code fragment and recommended that. Instead of manually triggering, I just type the tab button to accept the recommended code fragment. The divide method has a problem. You can't divide numbers by zero. So if I type if, then it gives me a recommendation. Hey, if your b equals zero, then it's better to throw an exception of divide by zero exception. All right, all right. Creating a calculator is very easy. Let's push this bad boy further and then see how it can create a more advanced API and then build and complete storage classes with that. I'm going to create a very simple program to hold product information and create a product API. I'm going to give you my intent for this class. This class is supposed to hold product information. So I give my intent as a simple class to hold product information. And ask Code Whisperer to give a recommended class body. This is pretty cool. You have a product that I got recommended. And what else it can recommend? It says, hey, it's better to have a description for the product and a category for the product. Okay, let's accept that also. I also need to have an image. Uh, in this case, I don't want to have the image as image, but I want to have an image URL. Either I can directly type it here, like this image URL, and then accept the rest of the body that Code Whisperer has recommended. Alternatively, I can give a comment uh, stating my intent. In this case, it's a string to hold image URL. And then the Code Whisperer will give a properly formatted uh, property to hold image URL. This is pretty cool. I'm going to create a currency class that I'm going to use to keep currency related information. Therefore, I'm going to give my intent for this class as a comment to keep currency related information. Let's see what Code Whisperer is recommending for this. It recommended me a really nice currency body, which would have taken me a couple of seconds to type. I also want to have a static method to get all the list of currencies in the world. So let's give the intent for that. I want to have a static method to get a list of currencies in the world. This is pretty cool. It recommended me a really nice method body that includes all the currency the beauty here is that it even recommended me instead of returning a string that I can use the class that I created a moment ago and then automatically populated uh, the elements of that list. Of course, I don't want to return a string of characters. I just need to return the currency class. After changing the method signature, if I now ask for recommendations, it's now going to give me different uh, body. Here you can see that it says, hey, I can pull this information from an API. I don't know whether there's an API called fixer.io. This is a very interesting information. 
If I'm not happy with this method body, I can of course uh, circle through different recommendations. So this is uh, one recommendation. This is another recommendation, the one that we got a moment ago. And uh, let's say I'm happy with uh, this kind of recommendation and then going to use that as my code body. So one of the recommendation it gave was this fixer.io. So interestingly, they seems to have some currency information. So that's a really good recommendation. The existing Visual Studio Code interdescents will work along with AWS Code Whisperer. For example, if I want to implement this interface, I can still use Visual Studio Code interdescents to implement that interface. Let's implement get all method. To do that, I'm going to give my intention as a comment. My intention is to get all products from the product table and return it as a list. When I ask for some recommendations, Code Whisperer is going to give a very simple uh, suggestions, which is not useful. The reason for this is it doesn't have any clues around what kind of a database that you are going to use, whether it's going to be Postgres, SQL Server, or are you going to use some kind of a NoSQL database. So you want to provide it some clues so that it can make some smart decisions. To do that, let's add some NuGet packages. I added SQL Server related NuGet packages. So it now has some context, which kind of a database I'm going to use. To make it more explicit, I'm going to use some uh, namespaces so that Code Whisperer will have some clues that, hey, this class is supposed to do some uh, SQL Server operations. Let's make the intent very clear. Get all products from product SQL database and return it as a list. Now it recommended me a code fragment to open a connection to SQL Server and then get that information from there. I like this uh, code fragment, so let's use it here. This looks cool, but I'm not happy with the way that it provided the connection string. Let's say I want to keep this connection string as a private property inside this class. The beauty here is that it even knows that uh, this is a connection string and refers to a SQL Server and it recommended me a connection string which is compatible with SQL Server. Usually if you are a programmer, very likely you will Google for SQL Server connection string to know its format. In this case, it's recommended me the correct SQL Server connection string and I'm going to use it here. And if I now remove this and ask for a new recommendation, it now goes to recommend me a code fragment where it takes the connection string from the private property I created a moment ago. This is very, very smart. I like this method. So it created the SQL connection from the connection string. It then recommends me to create a new SQL command, select all from products. That's correct and then execute the reader. Next recommendation is to start a while loop to iterate through the reader. And let's see what it's going to recommend next. It now recommends me that I can populate the product and then add it to the product list. Let's say I need a function with pagination and I give my intent to return all the products with pagination. Let's ask Code Whisperer to give a recommendation. It currently gave me a recommendation with a starting page number and page size. And let's ask for another recommendation. So here it seems like not the correct one, but this seems the right recommendation. You can see that the select statement has a select statement where it select all from products order by id and the page number is correctly set let's give my intention for the function my intention here is to read a json file from amazon s3 deserialize it to a product object and return it let's ask for a recommendation 
So it gives a uh, sample recommendation. Of course, you can iterate through uh, multiple recommendation. I'm going to stick with this uh, simple recommendation. And of course, uh, there's a simple error here. Uh, the get object uh, is not available. So let's call it uh, get object. As you can see, the problem is uh, the new uh, S3 client supports async method. So it's a small fix, I can uh, fix it here. Cloud OPN. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up. See you next time.